Are you looking for a U12 gun mod pack? Well, look no further, because here it is. So this mod has over 68 pre-built firearms and over 1,300 combinations of different attachments you can put on it. Okay, so first things first, we scroll down below clothing and we can find Ghetto's firearm tools. In this section here we have the firearm pre-builds. They don't look built in the image but once you spawn it in, it'll take a few seconds and then all the parts come together. Even the clip comes in weirdly, I don't know why, but rack it. Shoot it. And that's all the pre-builds in there for every single gun. In tools we have a vice which we'll come back to later. We've got speed loaders, misc firearms, so we've got tasers, non-lethals. And then we can go into his magazine section, you've got your pistol section, revolver section, blah blah blah, and it carries on. So you can pick whichever gun you want. And then we've got some grenades down here as well. Flashbangs. Oh my god. I'm turning my head right now. There we go. We're back to normal. Oops. Why do they put the spawn book here? They really need to move that spawn book. Uh, Warp Frog, if you're watching this, move the spawn book. It's in a terrible location. You know this. Yeah, it works. It works pretty well. Okay, so let's talk about the customization of guns now. So if we spawn in a gun we want, let's spawn Glock 22, put that down there, and then we go to the tool section, and we spawn in our vise. You grab the vise by the handles here, you're going to want to put it on any surface, that's nice, there, flat, and click in your right trigger. And now that's going to lock the vise to the position, and I think it's also locked its table. That's quite a good thing he's put in there, because if that didn't, that table would go crazy. And once you have your vise locked down, just come over to it, place the gun you want to work on inside it. And now you can see all this stuff here, so we can pick whatever we want. If we go down to tactical, can we get suppressor in there? We can, we can get a pretty sophisticated suppressor. And you can see straight away it's come straight onto the end there. Oh wait, laser sight. Okay, so now when you're done with your gun, and there you go, there's our finished gun. So if we have a laser sight or a flashlight, something like that, you can grab onto it and press your spell button or your alternate spell button and that would turn the laser sight on and now rack your gun that normally helps and he will die <laughs> you not dead god he's just wriggling hurt him a little bit yeah it's a lot of fun and so with the same keys as the flashlight and laser sight you can also switch over sights like this so you can see short or long range. Another tool is the ammo box here. So if you spawn that in, you can also lock that to the table. And once you do, it won't move and it will spawn this UI up. Okay, so the main use for this bad boy here is if I empty this mag. You're the lucky one. You can use get caliber from magazine slash gun. Press that button and it'll give you the correct one. Fill held magazine. Re-rack it. And you're good to go again. And when you're in your home, you might also notice this cabinet here, which is where you can say your save, sorry, you can save your own preset builds of guns. And I think you can also use this as an ammo box here. This is your ammo box UI. And this is where you can save all your custom guns. So if I take my pre-built M4 here, there we go, then we can put our gun in there and we can save. So now we have an M4A1 preset. It tells us when we saved it as well, that's quite cool. So if we press this, it will build it. And if I throw that away, do another one, it will build it again. So you can keep getting your same exact build out if you really like a particular build. This is a nice little tool as well. If you spawn in a tablet, oh, why is he gripping it like that? There we go. You've got cheats, infinite ammo, ignore magazine type, that means you can just ignore caliber and magazine type, you can just put in anything you want then. This magazine here, and it actually goes in, which is pretty funny. <laughs> we can rack it and shoot it. So 
so I think we're shooting, <laughs> I don't know what we're shooting there, 9 mils maybe smaller <laughs> out of an AK. It's pretty funny, so it's a good little um, good little cheat. Incapacitate when torso shot, I think it means like a death animation plays. They could, they could just fall down and be incapacitated for a bit. And then you've got HUD scales and all these kind of things. Score, well, that's quite an interesting one, little stat, the accuracy and headshots. So that's another little cool tool. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Oh yeah, I've got infinite ammo on. <laughs> 